speak. Okay. So we're going to start with the 9971, and this phone has video capability. Mm -hmm. It's um, it is both a wired and wireless phone, so if you don't want to run Ethernet, you can run this on 802.11, mm -hmm. and so you can move them around very easily. It also has Bluetooth capability, so if you use a regular Bluetooth for your mobile device, you can use that with your IP phone. Mm -hmm. And of course, you get the benefit of all of the IP telephony and unified communications and collaboration capability that connect to this. So including things like high definition video, mm -hmm. interoperability with our telepresence technologies and those mm -hmm. kinds of things. So for the enterprise customers who invested in Cisco's architecture, it wasn't about buying a phone where we have, I think, in excess of 60% market share in the enterprise for the IP telephony side of the house. Right. It was really about buying an architecture approach that is both voice and data and video. That's right, exactly. So let's let's show you a couple of the features. I'm going to click here on all calls, and this mm -hmm. will bring up my <clears throat> call history. Now, I want you to notice the call history here. It's mm -hmm. Greg, Paula, and Taylor, because I'm going to move between different devices, and I want you to see that the network, the intelligence in the network, allows that call history and visual voicemail to appear on any device. So let me click here on voicemail, and we see our voicemail. Now, this is visual voicemail, so all I have to do is click to listen to that message. Hey, Jim, do you know what's going on at the company meeting for the 25th anniversary? All right, that's Matt. He's got a question. You know, we have our company yeah. meeting coming up on Thursday. We have some special guests. Yeah, coming, we really do. We it's really exciting, Jim. Fun. We'll get back to Matt in just a moment. Okay. But what I want to do is uh, quickly move to my mobile device. So I've got a regular BlackBerry here running Cisco Mobile. Mm -hmm. Now I get that same call history on my mobile device. <clears throat> so I can see Greg, Paula, and Taylor on here. Yes. If I click on voicemail, I can see the same voicemail messages. You see Matt's message has already been listened to. So the network, the intelligence in the network retains that state. Mm -hmm. I could again listen to that message on my BlackBerry. Hey Jim, do you know what's going on at the company meeting for the 25th anniversary? Okay, so here's a BlackBerry, but you know, the user needs to be able to choose what device they want. So, And you know, that's I, one of the most fundamental changes, Jim, has been in the CIO community. They used to be able to limit what devices you use. Now almost every CIO in the world even realizes that's a losing battle. They're saying any device to any content, and they'll probably scale them in, but, but you're right. demoing to us what we do here at Cisco. That's right. So now I've got an iPhone here. So here's Cisco Mobile running on the iPhone mm -hmm. with that same call history. Uh, I've also got the same visual voicemail capability. And, you know, this technology doesn't matter whether you're on an iPhone or a BlackBerry or a 9971 or a Microsoft Office Communicator client or a Cisco Unified Communicator client or a WebEx client or even our new enterprise collaboration platform. This follows you into any of these devices or So platforms. that's the base, and we talked about market transitions two years ago, any device, any content, and then that's the base right. in terms of how collaboration has to be in architecture, then the base of content finds you as opposed to you searching for it, and the base exactly. on which you build video uh, in terms of the killer app. Exactly. Now, you okay. talked about video, and I've got my new Flip uh, Minnow HD camera here. You know, these are That's very really easy cool. to use. Well done, Ned and, and Jonathan. Uh, I'm going to get to Matt, get back to Matt on the company meeting, but I thought it would be kind of fun if he heard directly from you, you know, what's happening. And I want to show you how we can share video on the phone You know, they even have here. that now that you can put a waterproof uh, casing on it. You can take That's it underwater right. with take you it, when take you swim. Take it sw snorkeling or diving. Yes. So, John, uh, if you could leave a little message for Matt, a, a video message on what's happening at the company meeting. Don't give away the secrets okay. because well, we've got okay. a surprise happening. But Matt, the company meeting is our 25-year celebration. We're going to have two celebrity guests from outside the company. They're very exciting. We're going to have Cisco has talent with the three final finalists. We're going to announce our strategy going forward. Expect you to be there, Matt. In fact, I'll check to make sure you are. <laughs> All right. So We can use presence on that, and I can find him to make sure he's there, right? That's right. Exactly. Okay. All right. So one button to record. Then if I want to share this, I can do this right uh, from the IP phone. The phone has a USB port. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and call back Matt. I'll just hit the call back key here. Hey, Matt. Hey, Jim. Did John tell you what the big surprise was at the company meeting? Well, he didn't give away all the secrets, but, uh, you know, I could share with you uh, his message. I just made a flip video of him. Okay, great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the flip camera, flip up the USB port, and then I'm going to go ahead and just plug this in, give that a minute to, to initialize. And then what we want to do is go ahead and share the flip video. So I'll click on yes. Mm -hmm and that will share the flip video with Matt. 
Oh, now we want to go ahead and choose the thumbnail. So this is looking at all the thumbnails so that are on the camera. So this is how you camera. can sort it, personal business, send That's it to right. community of That's interest, right. et cetera. Right, go ahead and click on it, and mm -hmm. it'll just play that Matt video for Matt. meeting is our 25-year celebration. We're going to have two celebrity guests from outside the company. They're very exciting. We're going to have Cisco has talent with the three final finalists. We're going to announce our strategy going forward. Expect you to be there, Matt. In fact, I'll check to make sure you are. <laughs> all right. So... All right, so you can see how easy it was for me to share that video. And so exactly when we decided we're honored to make Flip part of our Cisco family, it wasn't about a device. That's it right. really was about applications and the ability to drive and video throughout the network. Cool. Yeah, so Matt, hey, listen, we'll see you at the company meeting tomorrow. Okay, we'll do. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Now, John, I want to also show you how we can publish that video <laughs> into the Enterprise Collaboration Platform, and you talked a little bit okay. about that. That's our entry into the business social networking space. And so if I want to go ahead and publish that video, again, just one click. We're making it very easy. So it to speaks to the ease of use on That's collaboration right. across all devices. That's right. Okay. Exactly. So now I've published that. Now yep. if you step over here, um, what we're looking at here is the enterprise collaboration platform. And I'm just going to give you a quick overview, but this is my directory page. So okay. this is if anyone looks me up. Uh, on the internet, they can see my contact details. They can see any of the activities and any of the uh, areas that I participate in. They see any videos that I've posted, and we can see that there's that video that I just published from the phone yes. within the ECP here. Uh, this is my friends, other information. Let's take a look at a couple of the other features. For example, the My View page. Now, mm -hmm. this is a page that integrates and brings the information that to me directly that mm -hmm. I automatically and to do my job. So mm -hmm. this is aggregating you're doing a very for good job, me. By the well, way. thank you, John. I appreciate if that. If we give not raises, I'd give you one oh, at this okay. time. Okay. Well, hopefully that'll happen <laughs> later in the year. Uh, <laughs> and all of the. Uh, communities that I participate in. I get activity and feeds from here. Here's that integrated uh, unified communication. So I see the, the, the voicemail. Mm -hmm. I could also look at the call history there. Here's my speed dial with presence and preference. Here's a calendar widget that's showing me the people that are scheduled to be in the so meeting that I'm in. instead of a notebook, which I carry, is right. about two inches thick. In the future, I'll literally right. will operate this way. Here's one button to start the, the WebEx uh, meeting, for example. Uh, here's documents that are going to be shared during that during this meeting. So integrating the real time. So you can combine telepresence, WebEx, Flip, right. IP phone, right. share the meeting across the board. Right. And and while there's lots of of uh, startups and other companies that do some basics on the social networking, nobody really integrates it or brings video like we That's do. That's right. Mm -hmm. Let's show you some of those video capabilities. I'm going to do a search here. Actually, the first thing we're going to look at is something called Cisco Pulse. Mm -hmm. And this is the ability for the network in real time to tag content as it's being generated and, and contributed so that it makes it very easy to find content. So you can either find it this way by searching or you could uh, push it to communities of interest That's based right. on keywords. Or it could come to your MyView So this is where well. MediaNet and intelligence in That's the network right. place off. That's okay, right. exactly. Gotcha. So here we're seeing the people. These are the experts around this top topic of solutions marketing. Yep. Uh, this is communities uh, that are tagged with solutions marketing. Here are videos. If I want to, if I want to take a look at any of these videos, I can just click to play them. Mm -hmm. But I also want to show you a new capability we call Show and Share. And Show yes. and Share can be integrated into the enterprise collaboration platform, or you can buy it as a separate product. And this brings me right into Show and Share, where I could go ahead and view this video of Tony. But I want to show you some of the advanced features of Show mm -hmm. and Share, again, that are provided by the intelligence in the network. So if I click on Transcript, MediaNet does automatic transcription of video. So now if I want to search into the video, and I yes. want to search on the word customer, for example, this will now bring me to the portion of the video where Tony said customer. But what you're okay. seeing is the ability to take his entire presentation, zero in, in any content, and then you could have discussions on that content that's right. with yeah. others. That's the other capability. If I click here on timeline mm -hmm. comments, we're actually seeing comments that are happening in the timeline. So these little bookmarks here, for example, someone asked a question, is there a SAS BU? And someone mm -hmm. actually responds. So this is discussion that's happening around the timeline of the video. Let me just play into that. I think Tony talks about SAS here. Everything we do in CST is done with a custom in mind. SAS or software as a service is a very different business model. So gotcha. as you can see, that yep. those that discussion forum happens around the relevance of the timeline of the video. And, you know, there's a lot of, of information that get captured in video that we can now access because of the intelligence in the network. Well done. Congratulations. Right. I appreciate it.